would be mostly a creative examination but uh, unfortunately the first time around I was caught a little bit by surprise it wasn't quite what I expected it to be uh, there was a creative aspect to it but it was uh, just a, a small section of the entire examination there was a lot of uh, logical questions and mathematics and English you know there were separate sections for each uh, each thing and you were uh, required to it was like a regular examination like an entrance test like you would give for any other professional uh, college not even a design based one like maybe like an MBA you know where you have five six different modules and you have to time yourself you know and you have to answer all those questions and be creative and draw a few things you know I did enlist the help of a coaching class but I can tell you that although it was helpful I won't deny it was helpful but a lot of the stuff that they taught us wasn't completely necessary it did, didn't all, all of it did not have an application uh, in the examination mm -hmm. so you could do it on your own as well go through a lot of the sample papers they are available in the market just practice a lot time yourself because you know like with any other examination even in the nift exam it's very important that you're able to complete it you know you might know all the answers but there are five six modules you do have a limited amount of time make sure you complete everything mm -hmm.